Hi everybody! Welcome back to the Rockstar series. Today I am going to tackle Cindy Lauper. Ooh I was a young girl when Cindy was out and her stuff was just fun, you know? You are naughty! You get down! Oh my gosh, that was so naughty! Um, but I picked a very specific picture, and it's because actually when RP did my makeup, he did something kind of similar. As you can see, there's purple and this bronzy orange type color, which is great. I love orange and purple put together. I love that color combination. So it's a full eye makeup. It's very dramatic and very fun. So let's just do it. Now I'm going to start with the purple and it is fearless. Now she has this all the way up to her brows and I'm going to weigh on my brows. Um, so she has this in the inner corner all the way up. And the bronze starts a little bit further out. Woohoo, y'all. Makeup in the 80s was fun. It was just outrageous. The 90s makeup was actually really boring. When it comes to putting it on now, it's kind of boring to put on. This stuff's fun. I'm going to look so crazy when I go out today. Going out with my mom today to the Goodwill at Senior Day. So maybe I won't look that outrageous to them. And then I'm going to go with this vintage, that orangey color I was talking about. Naughty kittens are being naughty, of course. And you see how bright that is right over it. That is why I put the purple on first. Because this color is nice and bright and pigmented. And there's so little fallout that even when I tap it like that, not a lot even comes off. And I'm kind of even going like at an angle up. See, it's kind of like an uh, angle, the different shadows where they cross. Can you see? Let me see that better up close. And this look really isn't going to take me that long because it's just eyeshadow and it looks outrageous and it looks like, wow, but really it's not taking me long to just put this on. And little strokes, just taking my time. I'm going to work up that diagonal. There were some other pictures I found of her which were really great, and I wish I had all the stuff to do it, just like her, um, where she just straight up drew diagonals, like the opposite way, like, like going this way. And that's just um, really irritates um, like, uh, the eye, because you want it to be like this, going out, but she wrote a line going the other way, and it's just, like, that's so rebellious in this really subtle way. Blending in. There, that helps. They're not so harsh now. I know it looks harsh, but that's because I have no blush on, I have no other eye makeup on, so what do we gotta do? We gotta carry on. And just keep doing it. Okay, so let's start in on the eyeliner. Now, as always, I'm going to go real thin in here, almost tight lining it right there, almost going under, brushing right along the lash line. Can you get further in? Can you get a bit thicker? About this way. 
So I like to get the inner perf perfected and then the outer width sorted and go from there. Tight lining is pretty much doing your waterline um, underneath here and just wiggle it into that lash line. My chin, my chin on something. Better not be what I want the pressure. There's lots of different ways to do your eyeliner. I just like pulling to the side because I think I feel that it's the easiest. Okay, now waterline. And these Uniques um, eyeliners are so creamy, they just glide right over the skin, especially on these waterlines. They apply a good amount of color. There doesn't need to be a lot of um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, a lot of pressure. I mean, I'm just barely touching. I'm gonna go in underneath the eye. Painfully 80s, I love it. See, at first I was crazy looking. Now it's starting to make a bit of sense. Okay, I'm gonna put my concealer on now under my eyes. It really helps. Remember just a tiny bit of the touch. That's all you need. And she does, she doesn't wing out the eyeliner, but the eyeshadow she kind of does. So I wanted to go in um, with that a tiny bit. So I want to take the vintage just a touch, and I'm using that angled side so I can do this. And I'm just going to go straight across, just like you would eyeliner, and down. Because that's what she winged out. They winged out the eyeliner more than... Where is it plotting? Nice and bright. <laughs> there we go. And down. And I am going to blend that to make it look a little bit more natural, obviously. A bit more organic looking. Okay, lashes! So, of course, I'm going to curl. And once you get the curl er into a good spot. I don't like lift it and take it away a bunch. Just little bits and then out, out, out. I also want to be mindful because sometimes when you curl them, it kind of crosses the um, lashes a little bit. So it's worth checking. So let's do that. And then to comb out anywhere it looks like they've crossed, especially in these inner corners. And I like to build up, if you're not going to use the fibers, I like to build up in one coat just because then it's not um, a clumping like you clump it up more if it's if you build it up in a couple of coats like if you let it proper dry I'll put a couple of coats on while it's still wet okay though so I'm taking this sophisticated color and it looks super scary but I'm doing a really light um, dusting 
And once again, 80s, more of a contour of a blush. And she doesn't have a ton on in this, but she also has red lips. So this is the matte that I'm going to put on Loyal, our clear lip gloss over it. So this is my final, and she kind of has crazy hair, so I guess it's appropriate to be like this with her. Crazy hair. I'll do that maybe sometimes. What do you think? Totally Cindy? I think so. Would you rock this look? It's actually really pretty. Thanks for watching. And thank you, Cindy, for the inspiration.